Welcome back to another Barely Art Live. I'm here with Jeremy. I'm here with Andrea. And we are making another very cute mini off the map project. Woohoo! Um, but this time with a little Halloween flair. Yes. Because Halloween is Just coming. around the corner. Spooky season. Very we're officially so. in September, which means we're officially counting down to Halloween. Exactly. And it's officially <laughs> 98 degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> At least in Texas. So it's gotten 10 degrees cooler. But at least if you wear a costume, you don't have to like ruin it with a big fluffy coat. That's true. That is true, yes. yes. There's some there's some benefits there. There are some. Always. Except usually when I was a kid, it would get cold like Halloween the week of. And I was oh, yeah, yeah. now you have to get a jacket anyway. But I think we're in that warm period where we're not doing we're that right kinda, now. Yeah. Last year it did not get cold. It'll be interesting when that happens. <laughs> we'll see. Alrighty. Um, before we get started with this really cute project, we've got a couple of announcements. Let's see. Oh boy. Mm. First off, just FYI, uh, wait, question, are we still playing the Change of Label on September 8th? That's the plan, right? That's what I'm telling everyone. Yeah. Cool. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> <laughs> just FYI, you guys. As we already <laughs> say it. <laughs> well, it's all set, but you know, I was just like, you know, we haven't said it out loud, quite literally out loud to yes, anyone. Yes, true. Anyway, September 8th, so that's next Friday, um, Bailey Art is making a change to labels. Not the glue, the labels. Yes. So same mini glue that mini you makeover. love. Yes, mini makeover. A mini makeover. Same glue that you love that's fabulous, works the same exact way. It just has a new look. New look. And that email will go out, so if you forget, uh, check your emails next week because we'll have that out. So no. <laughs> don't be confused if you get a different looking bottle yes. if you're ordering. Exactly. Same uh, stuff. Yes. Yeah. Same glue that you know and love. And let's see, after that, we've got September 22nd and 23rd. We're in September right now. Yes. We're in 20, September right 22 now. 22 days from now. 22 days from now. Oh, okay. We've got the Pinners Conference in Fort Worth. Uh, so Pinners, Texas. And if you want to join us, which you definitely, definitely, you to, definitely should. For sure. Uh, you know, only if you're, well, you don't have to, only if you're a crafter and you like fun, you want to have a good weekend, you want to have a good time, make some memories, make some crafts. If you're into that sort of thing, you know. Join us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. And uh, if you use the code BARELY, B-E-A-R-L-Y, BARELY, like barely art, on the Pinners Texas um, ticket code section, you get $5 off. So the general admission is $12. That means you get to have a very fun time for $7. Yes. And we'll have lots of make and take stuff there as mm -hmm. well, which will be a lot of fun. Um, and also, we'll just be there. So we'll be there. And we have giveaways. <laughs> yes. Oh, and giveaways. Unless you don't like free things. That's cool. I mean, everyone's into their own thing. I like wasting my money, too. <laughs> <laughs> I love paying full price. Just kidding. Rather have the freebie. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. And uh, let's see. Next up, next up. Last thing I'm just going to mention really quick. We're still months away, but I'm just going to throw it out there. Uh, December, we've got Craftmas coming up. If you haven't been with us before, Craftmas is in a three-day mm -hmm. online event. And this year, it's even better because we've got nine... Nine crafter influencers joining us, and they're each going to have an hour section to showcase the craft that they made, and we'll be sharing with all of you. So that's coming up. Be excited. I'm excited, and uh, we'll see you then. More info to come. But if you're interested in that sort of fun, you know, learning situation of crafting, only if you like that kind of thing, then you should join our email list and you get all those updates that we can be ahead of the game and cut out your pieces and craft with everyone. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'm so excited. <laughs> But before Christmas comes, we are entering Halloween yes, season. Yes, indeed. Yes, and so today we are making a cute little princess. Yes. Yes. This is from the um, free eight doll character SPG on our website right now. 
um, made by, designed by uh, Salty Yankee. Mm -hmm. She does a lot of other ones. Um, you should check out her website. She's also doing ones where you can customize more things, um, including like hair and dresses and things. Uh, but this one, we did a pretty easy switch. This, this doll right here that I have, this is her whole thing, uh, outfit and hair. And look is one project. But the one Jeremy's got, it was the doll with this face had a different dress on. So I just kind of did a little slicing and put the little, little uh, slice dress and on. Dice and there <laughs> yeah. we go. So anyhow, these little girls are ready for Halloween. They are dressed up as, you know, a very special princess. <laughs> <laughs> just up as princesses, yes, indeed. Yes. And this is using the brand new da, 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 da. paper collection. By the useless crafter, the useful collection. Yes, the useful collection by the useless crafter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it comes ooh. in eight different shades ah. of skin tones. Yes, yeah, so I've you used can some see of them here, so. minus this one that's out of order. We'll throw that in the back. Ta da! <laughs> it comes with three each of each color, mm -hmm. and you get that on our website, barely.art, along with this SVG, which is free on our website, barely.art, as well. So, yes, I think this would be a fantastic project if you're. Um, have a little girl, a daughter, nieces, yes. granddaughter that wants to see themselves dressed up as, you know, their favorite character. Exactly. This yeah. kind of like, well, this paper, it really, not just a little girl, this project, sure, mm -hmm. um, for a little girl, but like if you have, you know, might make like the face look like someone you know, your, like I said, daughter, nieces or nephews or any, uh, anyone. And you can just switch out the color tones and yeah. dress them up as the characters they want. That'd be so cute. Yeah. And so these are specially picked out by Anne to make mm -hmm. sure that they are actual skin tone colors because it is very difficult to actually find colors that actually match skin. Because oftentimes if you're trying to get something, they might end up looking like a Simpson or <laughs> they just kind of end up looking really white. Like we've had some issues before. Like I remember when we tried to make gnomes, we mm -hmm. couldn't even mm -hmm. get the skin right. It just yeah, ended up being very it strange in colors. <laughs> It was like, um, oh, it just didn't look very lively. Exactly. So here's a couple of other examples that we had done a week or two ago here as well to kind of give, show you the range of colors that we have here. Mm -hmm. And the um, papers are named after, quote, from Anne, kick ass girls that she knows. <laughs> End, quote. <laughs> End quote. End quote. Yes. So that's really cool. Uh, again, eight different skin tone colors, three sheets each, that's a total of 24 sheets per pack. Yes. And I really like them, and I hope you guys like them too. So if you enjoy this craft, check those out. Alrighty, and let us get started. Yes, we'll da -da -da -da. go straight into it. Yep. Okay. Um, we have options here to glue or to cubey. That is the question. <coughs> I'm going to start cubes. off with. Doo -doo. I was gonna make a decision. <laughs> I was making a decision and I changed my mind and I switched you? it again. Where are you? Okay. I know where I'm starting. I know where you're starting. QB themed. Yes. Always, always with the cubes. Right. And so we always use we always use the thin strips the most. We do. We're running out. It is true. But I'm gonna get some of all of these out here. Mm -hmm. And we should be good to go. So yeah, like Andrew was saying that this project, what I see it as is so that you can use it and design it yourself in order to have whatever it is, like whatever look that you want, if it's your own kid, um, or if you're doing like a birthday party, etc. like mm -hmm. you can do your own version with all the different skin cones, all the different hairstyles, all the different dresses and things like that. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Again, check out the Salty Yankee mm -hmm. uh, for all of that information on other ones. We do have this one here for free. Yes, and those eight dolls come with some pretty different, uh, some pretty cool, different outfits and different um, faces and hair and things. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So you can still customize these and every and uh, and such, you know. But if you want more customizable, the Salty Yankee mm -hmm. is a is. Okay. Yes, there is a ton of different things there for you. So I have decided to use our cubies. I'm going to try to do. A look where it's like, you know, where things that are supposed to stick out stick out. Things That's what that don't, I was thinking. I was thinking shoes yeah. and skirt and hair popping yes, out. Yes, I agree with that. Huzzah! So I'm going to put that down here. 
you'll kind of notice that the layers are a little bit different with these uh, off the mats. Mm -hmm. So these are a bit of the off the mats slash mini off the mats, however you want to call it. Um, you'll notice that we're not really layering layers on top of layers on top of layers, mm -hmm. which is what we usually do for a lot of different projects. So we did for our very first off the mat. Yes, I exactly. used so much paper. There was a lot of paper. There was layers. Because we did of... not know what we were doing. <laughs> At least not well enough. Well, we just also didn't have a project to work it on. That's it. Because we only had layer, layer, layer projects. Um, and the more time went on, the more people we met, the more projects we could create. Indeed. And the thing about off the map project is usually like the difference of paper isn't like a layer on layer showing cut. It's like a, it uses the um, background to become like lines, more mm -hmm. like a drawing. Yeah, so it's usually all done on black, mm -hmm. right? And so since your background is black, right, like right here, I like looking at her arm, uh, you're using that as the lines that surround it. And that also gives you a lot of leniency too if you're kind of not so uh, precise in your gluing. So it gives you some extra wiggle room so you don't have to be like straight on it. Wait, it's wait, always wait. very good. Alrighty, look for the bow here. You put the bow down here or the bow up here? Hmm. You're a designer. You mm. are fashion, darling. <laughs> I am fashion. You are fashion. I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. You wore some really cool pants the other day. You had like fancy pants with like yes, a black t-shirt. Yes, I did have fancy pants on. Mm -hmm. I would call that a fit. <laughs> <laughs> a fit, yes. A fit. Yes, not an a fit, but an a fit. An a fit. Well, thank you for the fit. That's Compliment. <laughs> All right, so I have to get that foot down. I don't so know how, but I switched one. my hands. Your feet? Yeah. Yeah, two left feet. No, oh, just kidding. That's not good. All right. Also. If you're always, and also true, uh, hmm? also true, is that if you look at your paper and get confused on which side is which, or if you flip them, just kidding, mm -hmm. it doesn't help the flipping part, but, <laughs> but if you look That's for the ridge. That's what is helpful. Why? On oh, I'm sorry. I was talking about the skin tone paper because it is printed on one yes, side, so you will never mix them yes, up. Yes, you will never mix them up, which is good. And then for if you're trying to figure out like oh which side's up, which side's down, look for the little ridge. If you have the ridge, then that's the side that goes up. If you don't have the ridge, that's the side that goes down. And you'll feel it too because of the way the Cricut cuts. Feel the power. Feel the power. Feel the power of the cutting. Alrighty guys, and of course as always, we're curious as what I was gonna tell everyone on Instagram that we were live today, and I forgot. We're live on Instagram? No, we're not on Instagram. Oh. But I was going to go on Instagram <laughs> and tell them, hey, go to YouTube or Facebook or our website. Oh, I got you. Yes. I was, I had a plan and you I had forgot. A plan. Well, I go. got tater tots. I forgot. <laughs> Those tater tots just really messed with you a bit. Yeah, I forgot. I didn't have time to make lunch today. So I was oh, like, yes. oh, okay, gotta go. And I got my tater tots. And, you know, it just, I had a plan. It's okay. Next and time. the plan was ruined. Tater tots. Next time. Catastrophe. my shoes on and so we always get a question about our different paper types that we have so obviously we have the skin tones that you see here mm -hmm. um i have to say that, that the camera has the skin tone to be a little bit lighter than it is on mine mm, yeah um so it's not quite that light that you see there on the camera um but also we have this lovely metallic paper here as well yeah and for Really liked the metallic paper that we used last yeah, time. This weird. is the same brand. It's uh, Recollections. Recollections, yeah. Yeah. Recollections. This is just the foil card stock. Also just um, foil on one side. Mm -hmm. But it it's one of our, my favorites. I really like the deep color it I has. Too. That looks really good. And then, let's see here. Other than that, what's the hair? You've got glitter card stock here. I do. Right? And this is a shimmer, I assume. Yes, that is a brown shimmer we got off the Amazon. Very nice. I do like that brown shimmer. Of course, we're using our favorite Fairlight Precision Craft Glue. What? Oh, I was it... using Elmer's. <gasps> Just kidding. That'd be crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> That'd be really crazy. My project would be ruined. It'd be all wrinkly. Yes, exactly. No, no. Just kidding. We wouldn't do that. We wouldn't. Fairlight Glue. You. For the win. For the win. My cubies keep pushing my faces. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just going to scooch. Scooch them. Scooch them around. <laughs> Of course, as soon as he said that, I needed them. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I will grab these. All right, there we go. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cubie up, or I'm going to cubie up the skirt here. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and depth. do the little, oh, did you go with the white pieces too? Not yet. Okay, I'm going to wait my white pieces after, because I don't know how to, my, my, I didn't, I misaligned my stuff earlier, so. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, I'll just do them after. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're putting this down. If you're working on a little bit of curve, right, you can peel this off on a little bit of angle. Gives it a nice little curve to it, so you can kind of follow along the skirt size there. And then all you do is you take that, you cut it off, boop, and you're good to go. Wow, just like that. Yes, just like that. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And we'll go ahead and put this one down here as well. All right. I'm hopping on the YouTube to check out any comments. The tubes. Tube. The tube tubes. Totally, bro. Totally. The totally <laughs> tubes. Let's see. We have Lynn on. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Lynn. Hello. Good afternoon. We've got Susan from South Carolina. Hi, Susan. I'm a Susan. I'm a Susan. Su what? Whoop. You're a Susan. I'm a Susan. I'm a You're Susan. You're a Susan. That's Susan. South Carolina, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Lynn is not crafting. She's watching from work in Milwaukee. In Milwaukee. Yeah, oh, exactly. She specifically said to stay. Oh, yes. You have to be yeah. on the choir end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, too. If anyone knows that you're actually watching from work in Milwaukee, that means they're watching, too. That's true. <laughs> so they can't call you out unless they call themselves out. Exactly. Like, I saw that you were doing your work. Oh, yeah? yeah. What were you doing when you saw that? Work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing work at work? Work, work, work. Working. Then we've got, uh, let's see, Susan said, wow, exciting news about the new labels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those labels, fun fact, took a lot to design. Yes, they took a lot to they design. They went through a lot of different like versions. Yes. I think they look pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, as much work as those versions took, though, I'm excited for, like, the next round. Yeah, exactly. Too. Yeah. It's going to be, it's going to get better. We're just going to find more going. cute things to Keep put Keep going on. and going. Yeah. Oops. Yes, that's right. <laughs> like, I don't know what's got this in there. Susan says, yay, nine crafters about Craftmas. Oh, mm -hmm, yeah. I'm mm -hmm. super excited for Craftmas. I'm so glad that we got everyone that we wanted. Um, like, the first time we asked us, like, our list of secret rooms, I'm going to ask the nine for, uh, nine people for the nine spaces. Because I didn't really want to ask people and then be like, sorry, it's full. Oh, I see. I see. Um, so I was taking a kind of a chance, though, in case people said no. But they all said yes. <laughs> Every single one. Was Every like, single one. Like, mm hmm. I'm like, okay, yep. Yeah. We feel loved. I was very pleased. Yes, it'll be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We got nine different crafts that we're going to be doing, or not nine, 12 different crafts that we're going to be doing. Yeah, because it is the 12 crafts yes. of Craftmas. The theme. So we've got nine um, influencers joining us, and then we've got Barely Art doing three of those crafts mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. our own because, you know, we want to do our own thing too. Exactly. Kind of our. Our event, we want to take part. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Oh, and mm -hmm. tell them the news too about um, uh, about language. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's not all confirmed. Oh, it's not all confirmed yet. It's okay. not completely hundred percent confirmed. However, we're in the works and the talking of um, some of the influencers that we have invited to do Spanish classes mm -hmm. as well. So Craftmas is, like I said, three day uh, online event, and that would be. Um, one crafter per time slot will be teaching. And um, we've got a few Spanish speaking crafters on there and we thought it'd be really fun to be able to include more people by asking them to do the class in Spanish. We haven't made the ask with everyone. In fact, really what happened was that one of the influencers said, hey, can I do it in Spanish? And we're mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, that sounds great. Because we've got so many people who've asked for that. We just unfortunately know it in this we office, in this physical Spanish. office, speak Spanish. <laughs> So I'm glad that they made that ask, and I hope that we're going to be able to accommodate. Uh, agreed. 100% agreed. So I'm very happy. Me too. It's going to be a good event. It'll yeah. be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. A ton of fun. All right. We're going through, putting on our cubies. Susan says, love the diversity. Mm -hmm. That is very beautiful for me. What you need? I was just trying to decide if I want to cubie the top of the dress as well or not because, you know, technically the yeah, skirt like, goes out. Yeah, that's true. So I was deciding. But since I'm going to glue down everything else, I think I will. You can use thin ones. I considered that 
for a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, did you use the double tall one from I the skirt? Double tall on the skirt. Ah, very nice. But I'm considering. I don't know. I'm about to put this on, but I'm going to just check it and see. Does that make sense to do it like that, or does it make sense to go in? Go one more layer down. I see. Because mm. I was thinking also, like, the arms could come. Well, no, the arms are basically in line with that. But actually. <laughs> I'm changing gonna, your mind. Yeah, I'm changing my mind. We've got Mary. She says, these are adorable. Oh, thanks, Mary. Susan, oh wait, this is another Susan. Susan P says, love the skin tone papers. Super mm -hmm. glad. Remember, they are for sale on our website, yes. barely.art, yes. right now. Yes, right now. We've got them Get your skin ready, tone ready, paper ready right now. <laughs> ready to go. Ready to go. We've got a few orders in already. I'm really glad, because these are the first, um, like, I guess, cycle of them going out. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see what people have to say about them once they actually get them. Exactly, yeah. Once people actually get them and get to play with them. Mm-hmm. It's really fun. I mean, as far as I working with them, I like work I like them. They I think the color's great and they look good. The color's um, great, easy to cut. They have a it's a little hard to see too, but they, they're not completely flat, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it's kinda like your actual skin. Your skin itself, you know how you have a lot of like other little colors and things in them. Yeah, it's kind of because it's printed, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's got yes. that more. It's got um, a little bit more of a. It's not as solid, so you know yeah. you'll have like the perfectly, you know, perfect skin and things like that. This has a little bit more of a, not blotchiness is the right word. Blotch is not right. It's not really grain as far as physical. Like usually yeah. in a photo, it might be called grainy, but I don't know. It's it looks like there's almost movement in it. Yes. Is the best I could describe it. Like skin. <laughs> oh, Susan says, hi, actually, she's getting lunch. She's not working right now. <laughs> nice. Oh, I got you. Oh, they're spending lunch together. Hi. That's so good. Can I give you a hand with that? <laughs> so tiny. I'm trying to wind this up. Give me a second. Just focusing, guys. Everyone cheer him on. Jeremy, Jeremy. There we go. Let him go down the arms here. Ooh, this goes a little bit on the low, but it's okay. <laughs> Lower side. There we go. Let's see. We've got Estella says hello from San Diego, California. Ooh, hello there. Hello. California. Wasn't there a hurricane coming in California? It already hit. I'm not sure if it already hit or not. I'm say it did. Well, if you're able to watch, then I think things are good. Yay! <laughs> I hope. Sure. Let us know. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, exactly, yes. I need to send emergency supplies or. <laughs> right. Emergency crafting supplies. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. She's going to be like, yes. Yes, send exactly. It. Yes. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Got that down there. This here as well. Okay. Ta -da. Ta -da. Alright, and so this is a very simple craft that we're doing here. We're just kind of following along the edges of it again. When you're doing this, just make sure that you're leaving a little bit of black space around everything that you're doing, because that is the outlines. Mm -hmm. right? So you're not lining up color to edge, edge to yes, edge. indeed. All right, so now I've got that there, and I've got, <laughs> it's Halloween! Uh, <laughs> Spooky! Her, her eyes kind of got a little funny. We'll work on that here in a second. We've got Lynn, she has a question. Does your alcohol, do your alcohol inks Good with resin along. Oh, are, are alcohol inks good with resin along with paper products? Our alcohol, alcohol inks. Alcohol inks? What is she talking about? <laughs> well, we sell blendable alcohol inks here. We have two different sets that we have. We have the, wow, she does have a droopy eye. We do have <laughs> the classic collection here, which comes in 12 different colors. And we have the woods collection here that comes in five different colors here as well. The question is, does it work on resin? and other paper specifically. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so for resin, it works fantastic on resin. You can drop it in, do all your fun stuff, etc. Mm -hmm. On paper, you're going to have to use uh, like a UPO paper or some type of plasticky paper to make sure that it's uh, not getting absorbed. So this will absorb straight into whatever it is that you put it on. So any types of plasticky paper like UPO paper or YUPO paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then anything that's non-porous materials. So we've done things like, I don't think we have it behind we have, Oh, there's a card right there that you will oh, be Oh, yes, I forgot. So yeah, with our alkali inks here, we've done things like this before. This is a card that we made. This is on Yupo paper right there. Mm -hmm. And then we put a little bit of the metallic, uh, we put a metallic sheet down and ripped it off. And mm -hmm. then it creates this nice pattern here. We've also we used it on um, treated wood. Yes. And then if you guys want to see some more projects that uh, use our alcohol inks, I know we don't do them a lot on the lives. Um, if you want to see other people use them on our Instagram, there's a highlight. And if you click alcohol inks, there's some projects that um, our audience has made and we've shared mm -hmm. it on there. Yes. And there's been some really cool projects and big art pieces um, that have they been used, a lot of card making too. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest checking that out. Yes. We also have them on YouTube. I believe there's a playlist with alcohol inks. Or it might just be the card section that the alcohol ink gets used more. But check out our past videos on YouTube. We've got some, we have used them. So there's some projects out there that will give you some yeah. good examples of uh, what we've done and how they work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a lot, there's a lot there mm -hmm. to go. It's a completely different kind of like learning process too for them. So they are a little bit different. So I hope that helped, Lynn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that helped answered your question. There is a playlist. Okay, there is a playlist for alcohol inks on our uh YouTube. On our YouTube. On YouTube. Fabulous. So check that out. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So since this is since this is a mini off mat project, we do have a couple of different sections here, right? Obviously, mm -hmm. this is printed out bigger than your typical size, and you don't have to be scared with the off the mat stuff because our specific projects here are all already the right size. That's correct, right? Yes. So our projects that we have are already cut into its different things. This one, because I sliced it, the neck might not be edge to edge like that. I'm not sure, but put the face on it. Put because the I, face on it. Yeah, okay. put the face to see. Yeah, because I had to like slice and dice. Yes, so you do have to cut a little bit to make sure that If it only fits. if you don't have a 12 um, by 20 inch mat. Yes, but this also one... need 12 by 20 paper. True. <laughs> I guess it's true. Well, I mean, you don't have to. I guess. Just the back layer. Oh, I see what you're saying. So this one's not edge to edge. Yeah. Just, just kidding. Sorry, I tricked him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. What she means by that is there's a little bit of overlap. Yeah, just a little bit. I have to get a little creative with it. And then Susan T says, so more, so she's asking, so more authentic, not perfectly smooth skin yes. on the. That is more authentic is the yeah. best. That's a great way of putting it. Mm -hmm. More authentic. That is correct. It's not your perfectly, perfectly smooth skin around. Finally, I'll try to let's see if we can get it in the right place here. <laughs> there we go. That you can kind of see. All right. There we go. Ta -da. Yep. Yeah. So it makes it look really natural looking, uh, just like skin. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I know I'm going to lose parts of her eyes. <laughs> Keep that. I think I already did lose a part of her eye. Oh, there mm -hmm. it is. Found it. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to work on her head now. This She's is a little capitated. <laughs> I'm going to put a little more glue here. Should be good. All right. How are you doing on that side? Doing good, doing good. Just doing things. Mm -hmm. down trying to find the right spot because mm -hmm. it's funny because like it's kind of good as far as um off the map projects that they don't have to be like lined up perfectly it's really cool that there's these uh black yeah because it makes you it means you use less material than having a layer 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 yeah. however because there's a line around it it's like that means you have to make sure you're aligning it the way you want inside right exactly yeah i think i've got it it takes a little bit of work. It's a little bit different than your typical designs, right? Because you can't just go, you can't butt it up to like another piece of paper, mm -hmm. which is what we're usually used to whenever we're doing like a lot of layers and things. This yeah. one's more, everything's floating. 
Mm -hmm. then. So if you have a lot of different pieces, it's a little makes it a little bit difficult. I think that your that you had last time we did one of these, your uh, your dress. Oh yeah, that one was pretty yeah. advanced. Would have liked to to have it <laughs> um, yeah. was one piece, but that was actually that was really fun. That one was uh, we had she had to do some prep work for that one to make sure that we we're doing all right. Um, but yeah, there's like forty different pieces. Am I exaggerating? No, that sounds about right. Yeah, it's a lot. Of <laughs> Lynn says yes. I know that you use Yubo paper. I'm trying to venture into resin projects. I'm looking Ooh. for different inks. Yes. Thanks. Cool. cool. Give it a shot. Let us yeah. know what you think on that one. Mm -hmm. I've also been trying to get into resin, but I swear I don't. I just keep uh, running out of time. <laughs> I would love to do some resin projects on my own. I've been dying to make like some bookmarks with like pressed oh, flowers. Yeah. I actually got a pressed flower. Um, it's like wood blocks that you, they they have like screws on the side to tighten. You oh, press wow. the flower. I got that at Pinners last year. Oh, actually. yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, I really like it. It presses flowers really nice. I have like a project that I use a glass um, frame for, so the mm -hmm. flowers are kind of floating on this black piece of paper I put in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But. Um, that was a. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but I want to use those those flowers in like a clear resin bookmark thing, and then I try see, some yeah. ink as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. It would be fun. I just realized something. Does this hair go on top of her? Hmm? Over her? Goes like. No. Or do I have this wrong? Do I have a piece see. that's wrong? Oh, it goes on the side. Ha 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 ha. I just didn't turn it enough. I'm trying to make sure that I'm actually putting her face in the middle. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and press her down. But yes, we'll love to see you guys at Pinners if you're coming. Mm -hmm. Please come stop by our booth. Again, the admission tickets with our code B E A R L Y barely is only $7. So you get $5 off your $12 admission um, if you use our code barely. And you can get that on the Pinners Texas Conference. Website. I don't remember the name of the. I think uh, it's pinners .tx. Pinners .tx? Okay, that sounds right. Yeah, it is also on our Instagram um, link, and it, it has been our past lives link as well in the description. Yes, and that is over. If you are a DFWN, uh, it's over at the Will Rogers Center in mm -hmm. Fort Worth. Come say hi. We'll also be doing giveaways while we're there. Yes. So you know, maybe some have glue you holders. Have you announced what you're giving away? I'm not. Okay. So we've got some glue holders, the, the um, Whimsical Wishes. Mm -hmm. We've got, I think, four uh, mushroom glue holders wow, with okay. color that combination that is not even on our website. Really? Yeah. Very nice. So That's cool. Special, very special. And then we've got, um, oh, uh, Whimsical Wishes also is donating some tiny, there are these tiny little cactus that are, well, can hold like your pick pickup pins, you know? Pickup pins. Yeah, you know, I haven't like. I don't even know. <laughs> pick, pick up pins. You know, oh, those! Yeah, yeah the little yeah. cactus will hold hey, this. So we've got like, cool. I think he said he was going to send a cool. hundred of them. Yeah, if we uh, could uh, grab some of those so we could show them off and I yeah. can see them. <laughs> and then uh, we also, uh, what else are we going to give away? There was, we got a couple, like some just total freebies that we're going to have on the um, booth if they come in on time. We're still waiting mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. our buttons. And I have some sticky notes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very and nice. there's, I feel like I'm missing something. Are we? Maybe glue. <laughs> Probably. Maybe I think it's glue. the glue. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, I would we're, think we would have we're some glue. Giving away glue, in there. too. Sorry, yeah. I forgot. I would think. Maybe these right here. These are like the. Oh, little, I see. see little so, yes. pin holders. You know what they, pretty. Pop a pen? Pick a pen? Yeah. Pick it. It's right here. Ta da. Boop. Mm. And you can also hold things like. <laughs> pen kit. Oh. Can actually find a pin kit. I can find a vial. Nope, that's an, not it. <laughs> Hold on, I and can do it without can looking. Only find a tip kit. There we go. Never mind, we got one. Boop. <laughs> Ta da! So there you go. You got your little cactus holder here. A little little freebie giveaway type things. Also, we'll have, have some other giveaway things as well yes. there too. So come check it out. We'll be giving away glue. And you know what? Probably some cubies too. I think oh, yeah. people like cubies. Yes. We're gonna be using them on our, on our um, make and take. So yes. that'll be a fun one. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. You gotta come and see our make and takes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's going to be lots of fun. You're gonna like it. Indeed. Alrighty. Okay. I got this. 
I'm just placing all my stuff down again because I forgot. I'm going to move my eyeballs off to the side. <laughs> I'm running out of room. I know. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at here. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to cube up this part of the hair. And then the other ones. Cube up these to the top, these to the next, and then the rest to the back. Okay, I got it. I got this. I got it. I got this. I'm going to plan it all out. Yeah, I really do like this paper, even though, or uh, the skin tone, obviously, but the shimmer, the shimmer brown hair, it's really cool, too. Right? Yeah. I'm trying to find some more, because, like, um, our cubies, as much as we love that they stick on everything, glitter paper is just really hard to keep it stuck. It'll stick at first, but the glitter, the more it sheds, the more it, if like, have, destroys yeah. that sticky. If you have bad glitter paper then mm -hmm. it doesn't matter because it's just going to stick to the glitter but not actually stick to the paper because it's you know if it's attached to the glitter that sticks to the paper and the glitter doesn't stick to the paper then it's yeah. not going to stick very easily right. so um good quality glitter paper is important but Definitely. also i'm trying to maybe see what's out there aside from glitter because there's some shimmer papers that don't have loose glitter on them at all it's true and that's what this hair is mm -hmm. so i'm trying to find some papers like that that I see will stay stuck on any project. I see. Yeah, and if you guys have any recommendations on any types of papers that you like, go ahead and let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're always looking for good quality papers, and good quality everything. All right, I am cubing up her hair right now. Just trying to, I'm using her uh, little bang pieces to line that up. And press it down. Remember, we are doing this as a Halloween dress up. Mm -hmm. In fact, um, Lynn, no, it wasn't, yeah, it was Lynn. Lynn said, these dolls are so cute. It reminds me of old fashioned dress up dolls, <laughs> which essentially they are just big dress up dolls. Um, when I was a kid, and it wasn't, I had this, okay, sorry, I'm thinking two thoughts. <laughs> when I was a kid, I had this Barbie, um, my, it was called, I think, My Size Barbie mm -hmm. or something. And oh, was it was a the, big, like a big size, big giant Barbie. And you're supposed to be able to like wear the same like tutu. Mine was a ballerina. And I, was, I had to wear like the tutu and stuff. And it was so cool because I was just like, she's like me, except it wasn't blonde. But, you know, she wore the same mm. outfit. I would put my clothes on her and everything. It was so much fun. Um, but this, I think, is even better because you get to customize it to you know, the exact outfit that you want that mm -hmm. the, from the kids that um, look more like the kid that you're trying to make it look like. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, my mom often talks about uh, one of those life-size dolls. I don't uh -huh. think it was Barbie at the time, mm -hmm. but life-size dolls. <laughs> and uh, she has nightmare, she had a nightmare about oh, it. Oh, no. Uh, like, came out of the closet and, like, tried to attack her or something along that line, so... She like woke up in the middle of the night and like tied it up and threw it in the closet and, <laughs> and, and then never, never played with it ever again. Ah, uh, well, as much as I did like that Barbie doll, um, when my sister, I was, had grown up a bit more mm -hmm. and my sister was, uh, she was six years younger than me. So she started mm -hmm. playing with it mm -hmm. and she would leave it places and it was scary because I thought it was like a little person. Like I would open my bedroom because her and I shared yeah, a bedroom when I was a kid. I, I opened the door and there was the Barbie and I was like, oh. <laughs> like, okay, hello. What's happening? Yeah, so that was fun. That was all. Then it became like a kind of game with my siblings and I to kind of hide it places. <laughs> but just for a little while because yeah. none of us, we would all get no, scared. Was, like, scared of it. Yeah. And we're all such like scaredy cats. We get like we we jump scared. Like, we jump. I mean, <laughs> jump, funny. jump. Like, my oh, brother looks like a cat when he gets scared. Wow. I loved scaring him. I I'd open the door so, yeah. real fast and he'd just like ah, and he just. Oh my gosh. I swore at one point he jumped like two feet in the air. That's funny. That's funny. Of course, he hated it. He was sure so he mad hated at me. It, yeah. My sister got smart though. She scared me back and I was so mad, but then I realized that I couldn't get mad because I did it to her too. Like, this is exactly what and I've so, been doing yeah. to you this whole time. <laughs> you learned from the best. Yeah. I had to like, I chill on that a little bit. Like, okay, no more. Sometimes I still scare my dad though. That's fun. Mm -hmm. I don't dare scare my mom. <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? Oh, I don't even, I don't even, that's the scariest part of all, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Have to even tried it. Oh, no. Never. I never will. Mm -hmm. All righty here. So we were doing this here. I've got a little bit of a bend there. I think you can correct that. Yeah. Okay. 
putting down her hair now. Lynn said, I remember the first time I saw you two at Brandy's Card Summit a few years ago. You two are always happy and give such great ideas. Thanks for everything. Aw, thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn. This is so glad. Yeah, and I'm, I'm so happy that you stuck with us for so long, too. Yeah, like you've exactly. uh, became part of, you know, our little Valiant family. That's... Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Aw. I feel so happy. Brandy. It is so sweet. <laughs> 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 I feel all good inside. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. All right. We also um, have uh, Adel Hyde. Hello from Germany. Germany. Hello. 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 Thank you those... for being with us. <laughs> she says the black eyes are creepy. Like yes, yours. I agree. And leave it for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree. Yeah, I try not to move my eyes. I didn't want it to look creepy staring at me while I was crafting. So <laughs> I oh, love mine's, like... mine's creepy. <laughs> mine's creepy because I'm trying to get all these little hair pieces in the right orientation. Mm -hmm. I'm to pull them up earlier a bit because I misaligned it. But it's a little harder. It's a little harder to do it with doobies. Uh, this project in general, just there's because. No room. Yeah, there's no wiggle. So if you're using, if you're just gluing it straight down, this is way easier in my opinion, because mm -hmm. uh, you can kind of line everything up. In this case, it's a lot harder. Yeah. A lot harder to do, but it is very much doable as you see us doing it here. And just don't press all the way down. Um, all the time. Just yeah. give it a little bit of room. A little bit of room to play with. Got my big head in your shot. Got none. I'm trying to cut her hair. Okay. Am I missing a piece here? Hmm? Let me see. There. Mm. I feel like I'm missing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, never mind. I see it now. Nice. There Just a little it is. spacing readjustment. Yeah, exactly. All these little pieces. As you can tell, we're not doing this based on any particular um, image that's in front of us, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there. Okay, I'll flip her upside down. So I can work on her hair on the top here. Fabulous, darling. Fabulous, yes. <laughs> of course. Yeah. There's something I was going to mention about Halloween again, and I forgot. The Halloween oh. specific. Oh, actually, no, no, no. I'm sorry. It wasn't about Halloween. I was thinking about the design team. Uh -huh. um, FYI, everyone, we have the design team. Paul has been called and answered. We have seven new members coming uh, our way. They have been chosen, and they are going to be emailed today Ooh. Um, after so the live. Mm -hmm. Check your, your emails, emails if you applied for the design team. So you might have just gotten in. Yes. and we if, have a lot this time around. Yeah, we do. Um, if we get everyone, cause so by the way, just so you guys know, design team, we, you know, we make a public call like that. We say, Hey, anyone apply for design team? We pick the members. Um, and then we email them to make sure that they're still able to, cause sometimes, you know, you never know something could happen. Yeah, they're like, you know what, actually my, you know, brother or my husband or wife just said that we had to move somewhere for a new job. So I won't be able to do it this time around or whatever. So we just gave them a heads up, like, hey, are you still interested in making sure? And they mm -hmm. have generally always said yes. Yeah. Um, been rare, rare yeah. times where people said no, I think. Yeah. And so anyhow, so we confirmed yeah. that. Yeah. And then we announced it to everyone else. So so there's a, still a couple steps, is what you're saying. Yeah. So I'm saying um, so, so you'll, they'll get the email today. And then I, next week, we'll announce who those people I see, are. So yeah. mm -hmm. And speaking Very also of design course. team, as of course, we are making a new design team. Our old design team has finished out their um, term, and if you're on Instagram, you got to see their end of or their uh, inspirational community project. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, design team, if you're ever curious about applying, FYI, just know we do a fun thing called the inspirational community project, and that is shortened to ICP, and um, that's where. We wanted design team to be able to interact with each other and build a community and, you know, make some crafty friends. Indeed. And um, to do that, we have 20 members on the design team, and we split them up into four teams. Mm -hmm. And they work together to create a theme, and a uh, they each make their own projects, and it comes together into one little party decor mm -hmm. um, design. Yes. So it's really cool. I, we put those pictures on Instagram, and the winners this term for Design Team Kin was Ready to Flamingle. Woohoo! 
Uh, their projects were really cute. It was uh, a lot of pastel they used. It was fun. Yeah. I just realized this looks really creepy. I had her upside down this whole time with the black eyes. Yes. Just like this. I'm like, yes, uh, that's what they're saying. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, okay, okay. She's flipping. She's flipping. I'm putting the eyes on. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I think now I'm going to have a hard time to put the hair down to get the bow on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so putting these little pieces all together. I like my tweezers. You do. I do like tweezers. I'm going to have texture of my back okay. So the eyes may have a few different pieces here to give it kind of that. Anime-ish eye, cartoony eye going on thing, going <laughs> that on. That shine, that sparkle. That shine. So there's two circles and two little pieces like that. I'm just placing it in here so I can kind of get a judge for where I need to glue everything down. There we go. See, there. It <laughs> looks much better now. Look Aww, at that. way yeah. cuter. Minus this this uh, eye over Spook. here. Spook. Spooky little eyes. The spooky eye. Yeah, the first time I did one of these eyes, I'm like, what? Like, where does this go? <laughs> of course, I didn't say it on the live, but I was thinking the whole time, where does this go? Ooh, that's not any better. Sorry, guys, hang on. <laughs> 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 We're really celebrating Halloween. Yeah, spooky that's season happening. is here. Yes, indeed. It is countdown time. I use your precision craft glue, and I'm, mine's a little bit clogged, so I'm gonna clean that out. Get rid of the spook, use glue. Yes, get rid of the spook, use glue. So a little bit of glue on there like that, and just take this piece here and line it up, glue it down. Remember the little bit of black all the way around. Okay. And then she's also got those uh, eyelashes too. And then this side here. There's that pickup pin, I need it. <laughs> this there side here. This side. Let's see over there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This goes. I'm trying to figure out which way this goes. I think it's this way. Like that. Crazy. You crazy? How's this going here? <laughs> what, what do you? What do oh, you? Oh, this way. This way. This way. No, not this way. <laughs> I should have remembered. It is. It's I'll let you figure that out so. while I finish this side. Here do we? And do you have what are you holding? Okay. I'm holding the other eye. Here. Oh, okay, okay. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, what am I looking at? <laughs> I don't know, but this this will look this doesn't look good. <laughs> How many pieces in your puzzle? This is only for like 18 and up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah eight um, is 18 and up. Puzzle piece wise, there's a good amount. It's not too bad. If you're just gluing, it doesn't get, it gets a little bit more simple. Yeah. It's as far we, as the lighting goes. Because we want to do all this fancy stuff in 3D. Our shenanigans. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to do that, this project's a lot easier. But, you know, for us, we go. We go above and beyond. And then I know it's hard to tell on camera exactly what we're doing with that. So we'll lift it up here at the end. You'll get an idea of what's happening. Plus, although we're like the quote unquote crafting experts here, remember that um, sometimes we make things look harder than they are <laughs> because we're saying every step out loud. Like if you're at home and crafting by yourself, you're like, this piece goes here. You just think about it. But on here, when you're talking, you're like, Does this piece turn. Let's do that, you know. Does this go around in circles? <laughs> and what happens? Sometimes when we get down this? a little harder than it is. But this isn't that bad. Um, I no. would say the dolls too have different outfits. So some of them are more complicated than oh, others. Yeah, exactly. um, like the one we did a couple weeks ago with Anne from the Useless Crafter. The one I did had all these pieces in her dress. So it was a lot. But one like this, I don't know how many pieces there are, but it's not bad, I promise. This one's not that bad. But when you start using the exacto knife. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got that going on there. 
using my pickup tool, my finger. <laughs> a little bit of glue on that. I feel like I'm playing a little bit of operation right now. Mm. All these little pieces. Put more glue. And how are you doing over there, Andrew? Doing good. I'm working on the eyes right now. Same here. I'm a little behind you, but look at okay. this. You had. You had, let's see here. Well, your hair is actually pretty all together. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. I was distracted by when Susan was telling me all these nice things. <laughs> <laughs> or, I'm sorry, was it? It was Lynn. Lynn. Lynn was telling me all these nice things. All right, there we go. We got, got that part platted. here. And then we have a little bit more to do after this. We've got an uh, apple. An apple. She's going to be holding a poisoned apple. So I'm going to show you kind of the layers that I did here for her. So I layered up her hair differently. So her hair actually sits in front of her face like that. And so her hair is the highest. Then we have the middle. Then we have the bows, which are the highest again. And then this is glued straight flat. All right. So you got all those layers there. So now you've kind of got more of a 3D look on her, not just like a flat Stanley anymore. And then we're going to, after that, um, put her on some hard stock here. Not hard stock. Foam board. Foam board in a little bit. So hang tight. We're getting to that point. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up my QB mess. Let's see here. Can you throw this away? I refuse. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And bring out our friend. Who is it? The barely art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Ta da! Very cute. It's not for sale, but he's for fun. I was going to say, you called it barely art. <laughs> well, he's got a barely art. Barely he's got face boss on him. face yeah, on exactly. it. Exactly. So, all this QB confetti. Goodbye. 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 And he also works for glitter. He does. He puts glitter very well. Very well. Ta-da. So he just kind of lives with us. I haven't even charged him in a while. <laughs> He's still it's charged? Going. I thought it was on battery. <laughs> it's kind of charged. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's so good. I know, right? He does well. for uh, several lives by now. Yes, yeah, a lot of lives. A lot of different lives. Yes. Remember, that is not a Barely Art product. <laughs> it's not, sorry. I said Barely Art, but it it's... It's a it's a vacuum that I put a barely art face on. It's our DIY. It's DIY vacuum. barely art. Yes. Yes. It's cute though. It's more it's more projects by Jeremy. More projects by Jeremy. <laughs> Jeremy's projects. One of these days you might get luck out and get a Jeremy project. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be a little shaker. Mm -hmm. All right. Shake. That all. Um, for this one here, I guess we're putting it around this, right? Yeah, so actually, let me tell you the little story here. Okay. So, so looks once a upon a time, this uh, craft was being made, <laughs> and the apple <laughs> had a design, and uh -huh. then Grace, who was cutting the design, walked over to the cricket and cut this <laughs> apple out. And when she did, she asked me a question. She said, is this the part of the design, or is this the part of the design? And I said, hmm, they could both be, actually. So what's true is that this outline is the design. But she was like, it would be really cool to have a red apple inside of it. So we're going to glue uh, QB acetate outline. Uh, so I the see what's end. Okay, I like, this is different than our typical, because you usually just have like this and this, like mm -hmm. three pieces. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Right, done. Okay, so this uh, is the extra bit. Yep. To actually make it a red apple. Precisely. Understood. <laughs> All right, so that makes more sense. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. get our glue here going. A little bit of precision craft glue on that guy. Flip that around. Put this guy on here. Three lined up. Good. And then we're going to go on to the fun part here. Actually, this might be done in one strip. Yeah, it's pretty small. Okay, let's try it. All right, we're going to use our cubies, and we're specifically going to be using our uh, tall cubies here and the strips. And since this is all round, 
we're just gonna grab this guy here. I'm gonna peel down like that because then it makes it round. And we're just gonna follow around the edges of our ample. 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 And I'm gonna start, I guess I'll start here. We're just going to go around the edges. It's very small. Of the apple. And we'll see if we can do it in one go or not. It's gonna be close. We'll give it a shot. Ooh hoo hoo. So, Jeremy. So, Andrea. What's your favorite fairy tale? Favorite fairy tale? Yeah. Huh. That's a good question. I don't know, actually. Any folk favorite. tales or fables? Fables? Myths? Legends? Myths and legends. Everything else? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. I didn't watch like a whole lot of like... Like I was more into like sci-fi. That's mm. where all of my stuff came from. Really? Yeah, so I liked like Star Wars and things like that. Mm -hmm. But not so much on the fairy tale type side of things, I would say, or mythical. Yeah, that's true. I never actually got too much into like mythical -y things. I was all up in the mythical. <laughs> like fantastical. Ever since I was a child. Like, I'm even like even like well, I mean Star Wars is kind of mythical, but it's not portrayed that way, I should say. Mm. Um but even like Harry Potter and things like that, like I wasn't as attached to the fantasticalness versus like the science-y uh, <laughs> stuff. I see. Don't know why. Ever since I was a kid. Something along the lines. How about you? Oh, bro. So uh -oh. you see, I was Percy all up in the mythical legends, fairy tale, fables. Uh -oh, uh -oh. That is my zone. Ever since I was, and I know this for a fact, under the third grade at the very, very least. Uh, if we're not gonna count, like let's say Disney movies, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just skip over those yeah. really quick because you know, they make a bunch. But I'm talking about the old stories. The old. Yeah, so I was, I had to, because the kids in my elementary school, the younger kids had a different section of the library mm -hmm. to be in than the older kids, because when you're younger, you don't really read chapter books and such. I so they wanted that. you to pick a book that you'd actually read. Mm -hmm. And so um, the one I just, read over and over and over and over. If I couldn't find a book, because you had to take out two books, if I couldn't find my second book, mm -hmm. I'd just pick that same book because I loved it so much. Wait, you would pick this? Oh, oh I, I would see. pick the same uh -huh. book. And that, um, book, and that was... book was The Little Mermaid. What? Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Wow. And it was the old version where it doesn't have quite a happy ending. What happens at the end? Oh, you want me to tell you? I don't actually know. Like I said, I wasn't she, um, she does not live... Oh. She doesn't make it. So in the uh, story, she's, of course, a mermaid that falls in love with a prince. Mm -hmm. And in that book, um, she, or the, the prince actually marries another person, someone mm -hmm. else. And she's so sad. But the, the uh, what's it called, um, deal that she made mm -hmm. with the, the sea witch. I don't yeah. think it was Ursula in the actual, oh, okay. in the fairy tale um the deal she made was like undoable but she had you know it's like seven sisters or something like the six six sisters mm -hmm. and they cut off their hair and they gave it to the sea witch and they said we traded this our hair for um a solution that solution was pretty dark <laughs> the solution was that she had to kill the prince what yeah it and so instead and this of, was your favorite book. <laughs> I know it's so Death weird. Death to Prince. But the thing is, though, how it ended was that well, she was like, well, I still love him even if he didn't want to marry me. So she didn't want to kill him. So she um, did not. She said goodbye to him, and <laughs> she jumped off the boat. <laughs> but she lived, or she didn't live as a mermaid anymore. Um, it was called, I think, like the Angel of the Air, I think. And they said, we saw you and how much you were in love with this prince and how you sacrificed uh. yourself. And so um, they made her an Angel of the Air. And that's how it ended. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> that's a little different than... And I love that story. That I don't was know Disney why. <laughs> Not That was pre-Disney movie. Yes, pre-Disney movie. I love that book. I don't know why, but I was just upset. I liked... 
everything about it. I like the house, like the literal size of the book. I liked the hardcover. I liked the art on the front, even though it was old and faded. I liked every single thing about that book. I adored it. Yeah. And I thought about so many times of going back to my elementary school and seeing people still there, just to like, and I'd probably be like, can I buy this for the library? Probably. So if I ever go back. If my old librarian was there, she totally would let me, I think. But I know That's she retired because I asked my mom, who Aww. was talking to someone um, at that school. Because I was like, I want to know. I want to go back and say hi. Oh. Yeah. That's good. But that was my favorite story. Yeah. As weirdly yeah. sad as it is. It is. Yes. I can't believe that one is your favorite. Mm -hmm. But hey, each their own. <laughs> All right. So I put some little watermelons in my apple just for fun. Oops. Ooh. Oops. Oops, sticky. I get that off. All right, and then I'm going to remove the QB tape and then put this down. And we are good to go. Boop, mini shaker completed. Ta da! When Star Wars says, uh, uh the uh, Adel Hill, Hill, sorry. When Star Wars started, it was considered a space fairy tale, a princess, a hero of. I mean, that's I mean. true. Yes, that is true. Sound familiar? So yeah, fairy tale. That's my favorite fairy tale. Student, <laughs> <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Oh, that's true. That's so funny. That is true. I did grow up to read more um, different kinds of fairy tales. One of the chapter book, or not the chapter, one of the series I read when I was a kid. Um, was called the fairy realm mm -hmm. and it was about this girl she had a charm bracelet and it took her to another world of fairies mm -hmm. and i thought that was really cool and i read every single one of those books wow that's cool oops i just realized i didn't include this down i was like why does her eye look funny <laughs> all right got the apple it's got lots of the pickup stick? poison inside <laughs> <laughs> and i'm going to glue it onto her hand Go. Don't take the bite. Ta da! This Dawn, her hand. Dawn is on. Dawn! Is this Dawn? 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 Dawn I haven't seen on. Dawn in a while. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Dawn. Uh, she says, I love your t shirts. There we Thank go. Thank you. Yeah. Melinda says, Hello from North Carolina. Ah! <laughs> ah, cute! <laughs> I guess you can just stick it in there, kind of. Yes, you can. Ta da! I'll save that for later. Okay, so now after all of that, we are now almost going to have to finish up, but we have to clear pretty much everything yeah. out of the way because it's all got to be clean. We've got a lot, a lot of room to uh, do this. We need a lot of room to do this. Yep. It's More trash. It may be a mini off the mat, however, it's still off the mat. Yeah, it's still off the mat, but that means that we need a mat <laughs> in order for this to work. We do need a mat. We do need a mat. <laughs> All right, let's see. Pushing everything aside. And we've got our QB confetti here. Poster board here, right? So this is actually full size, and then I cut it in half. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you don't know what uh, Exacto knife to get, don't use Exacto. Get Excel blades. Wow, Excel at your projects. Not sponsored. Hold but on, before amazing. you start cutting, I'm gonna put her here. What? I have to get my stuff. Oh. <laughs> Oh, and yes, just a reminder. <laughs> and as a reminder, which is also here as well. Mm -hmm. We are made. using the Useless Crafters, um, the Useful Collection, da -da -da, skin tone papers available on our website, barely.art. Obviously, see, we use them right there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Those are the pieces. It comes with eight different skin tone shades um, and three sheets each for a total of 24 sheet pack. Mm -hmm. Ta -da. So join the fun, Ta -da. make these awesome customizable projects like this one. Um, of your favorite prince or princess. Yes. And get crafty. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we are. All right. Do I have enough room without hair? Yeah. Barely. There you go. Eh, just for safety. Safety. Okay. So what we're going to do is we've got our our uh, lovely princess here. We're just going to trace around her with. Um, the, with the white colored pencil, we're using black too, black poster board as well. 
trace, 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 and then we're going to cut all that out there very easily. And your cuts here don't have to be perfect. Nope. And I honestly don't make them perfect. It's nope. not worth it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Be free. All. Perfection is overrated. Because it just needs to be, just needs to make it sturdy, that's all. No one's going to be really looking at the sides anyways. You just need to make it a little bit smaller than the inside. And with the Excel blades, it makes it really easy. So like, see this little little loopy doopy here, not cutting all that. Yeah, all this hair not being cut. Individual yeah. strands. Yeah, it's not happening. Fingers, nope, just coming in. Please don't cut your fingers. <laughs> I will not. Boop. Okay, got that. So now we have our outline. Ta-da! Ordered. Uh, huh? <laughs> Crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> Got Location. spooky again. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, spooky. Ah, we just don't have any room to put anything. We're just gonna live right here. Yeah. All right. So now we got our blades. Shing. Shing. And now we shall cut on our giant oversized self healing mat. Huzzah! Ta da! Okay. So you're just gonna cut right in the middle. Just kidding. <laughs> you're gonna cut right on the inside of all these things. I tend to accidentally do like a bevel, don't do a bevel. I'm gonna cut around here. Cut, 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 <laughs> Potentially. We'll lift some weights. Right, going around that. So then when we come back to like her hand and arm, for instance, not being precise, just get enough to what you think you can use to support the back. Careful around the neck. Try not to bevel your knife either, meaning like go on from the side. Okay, I was gonna ask what bevel was. Bevel means like this. So this would be straight on. This is beveling. Like oh, like angled? Like At an angle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you cut with a bevel, then you can exit. You're showing more white than you need ah! to. Whoopsie. So if you cut straight down, then it's way easier. I made a mistake, but that is okay. Just it's important. But yeah, you're coming maybe like a fourth of an inch or so on the outside or on the inside of your your line, roughly. Not exactly. Again, I'm not gonna cut all of this. We're just gonna come in, cut a little bit, Oops. come back around. I'm going to turn it over, see what I didn't cut through all the way, because usually you've made some sort of indention. Mm -hmm. Follow that again. And then I'm almost always cutting down. I'm almost never cutting up. So you just, I, you'll see me change my position a lot to cut downwards. I'm so rude. I didn't ask you guys what your favorite fairy tales were. <laughs> so, if you have a favorite 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 fairy tale, fable, legend, myth, or other sci-fi fairy tales that you want to share, do tell. Do tell. I love stories. Mm -hmm. All the stories. Okay. Okay. Put all the way again, just kind of fall back around on the inside of all those cuts. It's usually just like that back paper. You don't have to cut much. Just 
make sure that it's all the way through. It doesn't matter a whole lot, again, because you're And also, the Anne's trick is just, mm. don't worry too much about it. Just pull it off, cut and pull off. Just don't pull off a leg. <laughs> all right, so come on. It's not Zita, you don't want to break a leg. No legs breaking here, yes. Okay. Almost there. Go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Let go. Ah. Think. Oops. Whoopsie. Excuse me. And restart. Oh, I live. found a piece I didn't glue. <laughs> Came off. <laughs> yeah, I, I must have set it down, but I didn't oh. do it. All right. So that's good. There we go. I think I did it in both ears. I may have lost one of ears. Oops. Oh, wait, I shouldn't do that. No, oh, yeah, I should. That's right. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Oops. All right. And then we've got that, her silhouette. And then we've got her. Now you can line her up. Double check. Make sure that you have it all cut. There's nothing showing. And there's nothing there. And then from that point on, Anne's little trick is that she will start either at the head, she'll get a head, mm. and she will hold the head down, lift the body up, glue underneath, and then reverse it. Excuse me. Can I give her a little height? Of course. Got to make her alive. Just like the, um, uh, what did they do that in? The stuffed animals? Uh, Build-a-bear. Build-a-bear. That's what I'm thinking of. Did you ever get a Build-a-bear? Yes, I did. What was it? It was a bear. It wasn't <gasps> very creative. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bear and a blue shirt. Oh. That was it. I got a bunny. As an adult, Lynn says, I must say the Princess Bride, but I didn't have one as a child, just played Barbies. Oh my gosh. i had never seen the Princess Bride until last year. I started it at I some did actually point. like that one. I started I didn't I, I don't know why I just didn't it wasn't there and then um I never watched I started I don't know when I started like a kid and then uh like last year I was like, you know what, I've never seen it. I was sitting in the living room at my parents' house, I was like, I really want to watch it. Inconceivable. And I watched it, it was so good. It's so good. <laughs> I have a secret. What? I am not left handed. <laughs> Ta da! Sword fight. Exactly. It's so fun. It's such a good one. Okay, I guess that's probably the closest thing for going full, like, fantasy kind of thing. <laughs> I do like that a lot. It was good. Now I'm going to want to watch it. <laughs> I glued randomly. Okay, that's okay. And there we go. Ta -da. Boom. Boom. Now she's got more of a spine. Oopsie. So that's the back. That's the front. The reveal. Ta da! Bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum, bum. I didn't glue this down. <laughs> uh -huh. How about an apple, dearie? <laughs> All right, this is our fabulous project. So for this project, we use a lot of products. So to go through that list really quick, if you're just joining us, we used glitter paper, shimmer paper for the hairs, um, Recollections foil cardstock. We use, of course, Bailey Art glue, Bailey Art cubies. Um, we used an Excel knife, not an exacto knife, Excel. Excel. They're uh, pink. You'll see them. You'll know them. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything else is probably like 65, like the red was 65 pound cardstock. Mm -hmm. And of course the skin tone is from the paper that is now available on our website, Art, mm -hmm. called the Useful Collection. The Useful da -da 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 -da. Collection. Eight different skin tone. Minus some of the other there ones. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Eight different skin tones, um, three sheets each for a total of 24 pieces in the pack. This is 12 by 12 cardstock, 250 um, GSM, which is about a medium thickness cardstock if you're cutting on like the Cricut. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is printed 
got a one-sided and smooth card. Yes, indeed. I think and there you go. Fabulous. And uh, I think... I think that is all the things we used today, right? Uh, we used a little bit of acetate that's in mm, here and a true. little bit of some extra chunky glitter. Oh, yeah. I also use watermelon <laughs> just for fun because it's red. Just for fun and give it to them so they can hold it for us. Yes, indeed. All right. That is our project. Ta-da! Ta-da! Yay! All right. I'm ready to dress up and be in spooky season now. All right. We're so close. <laughs> Any uh, costume ideas so far? Mm, none. None. <laughs> <laughs> I had some, but I didn't, um, I haven't confirmed what I'm going to do. And then Raymond was like, what about couples costume? And I like, I've never done a couples costume. Like, and it blew oh, my mind. I was like, what? Yes. I could do that. And he was like, yeah, you're a couple, part of a couple. I was like, you're right. That's true. So Halloween, here we come. Uh, yes, you got a couples costume. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ours last time was pirates and Wolverines. So. <laughs> <laughs> Talk I'm... about a couple. <laughs> Very true. Goodness. Alrighty. Um, I think that's it. Stay tuned, you guys, for um, our next lives. There are going to be a lot of Halloween things coming mm -hmm. up. Um, just a reminder on a couple of our announcements. Of course, we have the useful collection is out, as well as the LED sticker lights um, yes, from Chibitronics. Chibi yes, we did a project with them last week, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. And those are also available on our website, bailey.art. Uh, really cool, really fabulous. If you want to check out our project and how we did them, we were taught actually by Jessica from Chibitronics. So she walked us through the whole process and she made it so much easier than we were Way making it for ourselves. It was so, terrible for us. <laughs> so check that video out. It is on our YouTube and our Facebook. Um, and then we've got September 8th next week. Same glue, different look. We are changing Bailey Arts labels. Still same great same glue stuff. that you love. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the exact same, just has a new label that we just want to warn you guys before you think we sent you the wrong thing. Exactly. It's still glue. Same it's still stuff, fabulous. Same thing. <laughs> and then, of course, we are now officially in September. So Pinners is on the 22nd and 23rd. It's a Friday and Saturday. Um, so go to pinners.tx and you can get your ticket mm -hmm. and use the code barely, B-E-A-R-L-Y. You get five dollars off that general admission ticket, which means you get a fabulous crafting day for seven dollars. Yep. Which is less than most things that you want to do for fun. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Eating. <laughs> <laughs> Movies, anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Starbucks, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. For sure. Okay, and that is it. So we will see you guys next time. Have a fabulous weekend. And oh, it's Liberty Weekend. So yeah, have exactly. a fabulous, long extra weekend, long yeah. weekend. Rest up and enjoy your time with your friends and family or, you know, make an extra craft. Or order this paper because you're going to want to use it. You do, for sure. <laughs> All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. I'll do. Bye bye. Bye bye.